Hi folks, so my name is Harvey Dan and over the last 30 days I have been doing daily breath work and meditation exercises to try and tackle my long haul COVID symptoms. I've heard nothing but good things about these practices for people suffering with poor health conditions and seeing as my health is teetering on the edge more than a blind man with a dodgy leg on a tightrope, I thought why not give them a go? So... Life is pretty good, life is rather great, when you have a bloody laugh, be a bloody man. All right, so I just finished up that breathwork and meditation session. I'm about 10 days in and the benefits are unbelievable. Mentality, amazing, positive, inspires, just like last 10 months feel like an absolute doddle. And, you know, my health is so much better the breath work just kind of alleviates even more of the symptoms after the cold shower. The way I breathe is so much better. The way I think, the way I feel, it's just a, it's perfect. It's amazing. It's just, you know, I, it's, it feels like a chore to do it before you do it. And then once you do it, you realise why you do it. And then you do it again and you keep doing it. And I just recommend it. Just start doing it. And if you've got long COVID, do it and just see what happens. Cold shower, meditation, breath work. Cold shower, breath work, meditation in that order. <laughs> So what really kicked things off before I began my journey into spiritual and physical bliss was acupuncture. After just my first session, my brain fog and fatigue inflamed for about 48 hours before settling down the most since August last year. Since that initial session, as long as I make sure not to push myself too much in the day, I can keep all my symptoms at bay. I think that not going overboard is probably the hardest challenge. About a week into practicing breathwork and meditation is when I started to notice a massive shift. Benefits in breathing through my nose and sinuses, a huge decrease in intensity and regularity of symptom flare-ups. From regular meditation I gained an incredibly positive outlook and perspective on my life, or lack of one, and my situation with being ill. Alright, so today is a special day. 15 days of breathwork and meditation every day for the past 15 days. Did I mention it's 15 days of breath work and meditation every single day for 15 days? Mm, Yeah, and um, symptoms, near enough non-existent. Smell and taste get a bit weird. Well, smell gets a bit weird. Uh, I had another acupuncture session the other day and that made me feel actually, you know, the worst I've felt in a while. The days following, just completely better pretty much i mean i get tired easy and i guess the symptoms do come on a bit more in the evening but i mean my my outlook and the way i feel from doing meditation every day i just feel like i'm grateful that i got covid because it's made me go down this pathway and it's just sort of given me the best outlook on life I've ever had. I haven't felt this positive in probably 10 years. And um, it's a good way to go into 30 because I'm 30 next month. And, you know, I can be happier, really. I mean, you know, absolutely flying, mate. (laughs) And so that's it. I'm going to carry on for the month, for the month. You know, wicked. We're all good. We're all gravy. Yeah, dude. There's a fly in my room, there's a cat on my roof, there's a rat underneath my floor, underneath my floor. Sure, sure, sure. It can seem like a real chore to sit down and do these exercises. At the beginning, I couldn't even manage 30 seconds without giving up and pretending like it was enough. Not the first time I've experienced this. As long as you just manage to do even 30 seconds at the start, these practices will get a lot easier and the benefits will only spur you on further. In fact, that's bollocks. These exercises are so boring and mind-numbingly painful to complete, I'm not surprised you aren't doing them. But that's the point. Everything with real, long-lasting benefits takes work and repetition. When I say that these exercises need to be a regular everyday practice I absolutely 100% mean it. Before breathwork and meditation were the foundations of my day I was constantly experiencing symptoms from when I woke up to when I went to bed. My day was mainly based around what food I was eating and although that was a good start and is most definitely a solid foundation to build upon it was no way near enough to aid my recovery. If you want to experience ongoing Covid symptoms while you moan your way through life constantly feeling like a victim of this condition then carry on with your pathetic routine. You know the one you've been telling yourself is enough? It's not. It's a complete shambolic embarrassment of a routine and you know it deep 
deep down within your meagre little pithy wet white waste of space sorry sack of shit of a soul after just one week of these practices along with acupuncture about 90% of my day was symptom free meaning I had genuine reassurance I was getting better now it is only when I slack off this routine when they start to creep back in so it's probably worth remembering that I'm 11 months into my recovery and I can't actually really comment on whether or not these exercises will have the same effect on you as they have on me, but in my experience incorporating them into regular half hour rests about four times a day works an absolute treat. All right, <clears throat> so that is full a full 30 days of doing breath work and meditation every day. Basically, if you've got long COVID, and you're not doing cold showers, breath work and meditation, then I think you're just shooting yourself in the foot, really. It's worth looking into your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous systems because of how those two work in correlation with each other and how I feel like sometimes when I go about my day, I'm activating the sympathetic nervous system which controls fight or flight so if i get worried anxious stressed play too much playstation too much call of duty it's all going fight or flight you know i mean everything's inflaming i'm getting all stressed out then it's good to activate the parasympathetic nervous system which is the vagus nerve which runs from your neck to your colon i'm kind of just repeating this to show that i've learned it and to also you know stamp it further into my brain the parasympathetic nervous system is rest and digest well it brings all the systems of the body back to normal after you've been in fight or flight so i think the more that you can activate your parasympathetic nervous system the better off you're going to be and that is by doing cold showers breath work and meditation which i have done every day for 30 days now and the more I do it, the better I feel. The more the, the symptoms go away, the more meditation I do, the more grateful I feel for having gone through this to learn all these things. You know, the, the more I accept it, the, the better my mood, the, you know, socializing seems 10 times easier when you meditate every day. You know, you don't get all like, hello, is it high? I don't know what, me, no way. So, if you've got long COVID and you're not doing those three things, just do them. I think this video is too long again, but I'm just going to leave it at this. Leave it, leave it as miss. Give it a miss. Just choice is yours, really. <sighs> All right. See ya. <laughs>